it's Tysco. Tysco WGL. It would have been a WG2L or a 3L. I think they probably had a 1L, <clears throat> but the number means how many pickups were on it. This originally would have been a 3L because there were three pickups. I went ahead with two because I think three pickups on here is kind of dumb. And <clears throat> they're P9s. Of course, I got it with nothing on it. it it's just the body and the neck. And it's in really <clears throat> good condition. I mean, the finish on it's really nice. It has a big, a large neck. It's a one and five eighths at the nut. It's a new bone nut. But it's a, it's a, you know, it's a large neck. It's not, uh, it's a C shape and it's not medium, but it's not a big honking massive thing like you can get on those old arch tops. We got <clears throat> a new set of modern tuners. Um, it has an internal strut in there, an internal um, uh, truss rod, big steel thing in there. It doesn't move. The nice thing about it, there's no nothing you have to deal with. And it, it has really low action because I gave it new frets, a new radius. Um, a new uh, tunematic and then a nice simple stop tail back here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a, a real Tysco. This isn't a Kawhi Tysco. This was before Tysco was bought out by Kawhi in the late 60s. So this is probably around 1965, 1964, and they made a lot of these. The thing that's different than the um, the Kawhi Tyscos, for the most part, is they don't you won't find one of these retaining things on an, on an older one because it has, you know, just enough of a cant there to get the job done. And it's a solid wood body. It's not a plywood body. So this thing weighs uh, just over seven pounds, seven pounds, three ounces, something like that. <clears throat> and the other thing that's interesting is it's an actual 24 and three quarter scale and it's a wide enough neck that a, a, a standard tunematic will fit on it. Whereas the nor after, you know, if you got a tulip from this time period, it was too narrow and you couldn't get one of these on there. So bridge options were minimal. So this is a very modern feeling guitar. And it's not a toy. I mean, it's really built very well. I mean, it, it, it feels like it, you know. Um, like I said, I put a set of my P90s on there, which sound fantastic. Didn't have pick guard, but there's a big trench under there, so I made my own pick guard arrangement. We have a new three-way switch and new pots. Uh, moved the jack down to this end, and it's a nice one. It's a really nice old Tysco WG, and you know, you can really rock this thing. Dice go.